Drop it, drop it, drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just been living off of the bankroll. Had a saying go, got it flooded to my ankles. Need a raincoat, pair of boots, and a dang boat. What the hell is going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? Bitcoin struggling a little bit out of the gate today. So are most assets, right? I mean, we got Bitcoin down 1.1% on the most recent daily candle. Dow Jones down 0.8%, NASDAQ down 1%, S&P down three quarters. Dollar is pumping right now. Uh, threw, th threw some things in Discord earlier. You know, this flag, we were up here, fell out of it right to the target. Threw the other flag breakout. We'll get into charts in a little bit. Looks like we're going to come down a little bit more. So congratulations if you made money off of that, right? I posted every morning in Discord. I'm making the calls what the day looks like, where we're at. Uh, I mean, just take a look at some of this stuff, right? Boom. You know, all the earnings and stuff that came out, JP Morgan, Citibank, Wells Fargo pumping up. I mean, just a wealth of knowledge information to get you guys set up for the day. Charts, I'm charting here, here it was right here, right? This was at, uh, before markets open this morning. Oops, that's not it. Right here, right? There it is right there to the POC, which is where we got to. Now we're just looking like we're going to come down to the value area low down here. Uh, so this was obviously pre breakout. Here we are breakout, right? And we're doing it again, which I posted this in discord, probably in the Bitcoin channel. You guys need to hop in discord. That's the, the moral of this story, right? Uh, if you're not already, and if you are, and you're just not paying attention to these newer channels that i've created at the top daily sentiment rebel charts news alerts official alerts announcements that's where i'm gonna be posting most of my you know most of my calls what i think of the market stuff like that but here was the most recent one for the breakout uh this is a joke by the way make fun of bit boy and then here we go currently falling down again congrats congrats if you're paying attention and you back tested this with your own ta because you need to do that i'm not here to hold your hand uh i mean you're looking at about a three percent drop i mean currently about two percent right from my call no 10 times leverage that's 20 percent gains there you would have gotten you would have jumped into a short like me so we're gonna look at charts today guys not much news going on. We are going to cover some of the economic indicator numbers that came out today. Uh, just talk crypto. We're going to get into it. Take a look where we're going to go. Some key levels that we might touch before we get that bump up again. And then maybe take a look at why markets are doing what they're doing today. Uh, probably show you guys my year to date PL at some point just for transparency. It's not for bragging. There's way, way bigger influencers out there people with way bigger bags than me that make what i make year to date uh, in a day sometimes they also lose it in a day so it's all relative right we take a look at a lot of stuff before i do that if you guys aren't liking subscribing and turn on notifications you're just doing it wrong appreciate everyone who does and who watches these videos uh, it means a lot to me believe it or not i mean i don't make any money off of this stuff i'm doing this just to kind of document what i'm doing and hopefully help some other people quit their nine to fives. Uh, you know, that this shit doesn't happen overnight, right? You're not gonna quit your job in a week or two weeks, but just to bounce ideas off of each other and help some people out. I don't know everything, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I get ideas from people too. I got I got thrown on to CASPA pre it's 3000% run up just by someone mentioning it in, in the channel. And then I made a video on it, hopped in, and like triple or quadruple my money i forget at this point but the point is i'm here to learn right alongside with you guys help out whoever i can and just uh learn right so preach it guys let's jump into it let's take a look at some news charts and just talk all things crypto so look we're going to talk retail sales and i don't remember where i posted it now it probably would have been news alerts uh there we go right so this was yesterday yesterday morning before the retail numbers came out i tossed the expectations up there we were in for a rough retail you know numbers to be released sales numbers and that came to fruition today right so the the markets are taken based off of earnings from retail uh from retail numbers i should say sales numbers 
banks are coming out with earnings and they're looking good, but they should look good. The big banks should look good right now. It makes sense because all the smaller banks, all the regional banks are having all that trouble. A bunch of them are collapsing. Collapse, I should say. Not a bunch, you know, a few of them. And that's where we're at. So, uh, you know, the, the moves in the markets right now are following weaker than expected advanced retail sales data that showed consumer spending fell twice as much as expected in March. Retail sales declined by 1% last month, more than 0.5% than the 0.5% expected by economists pulled by Dow Jones. Uh, you know, consumers are dealing, as it says here, with, with recession fears, depression fears. Everything is still more expensive. Yes, it's coming under control, but let's face it, it's still outpacing wage growth by an enormous, by orders of magnitude, as Musk would say, right? I mean, we are way, way, way overspent on on everything. I mean, go to the grocery store. It, it costs so much more now than it used to. Dude, I went to freaking Dick's Sporting Goods yesterday. I bought two chairs, seven shirts, a hat, and a Yeti uh, tumbler. Take a guess. Two outdoor lawn chairs, right? From my deck. Just take a guess. Guess. You got the number? $900. What the, what the hell? I mean, I'm just, that's what I'm, everything is just so expensive. It's outpacing wage growth. People are hurting, man. It's expensive to live. It is expensive to feed your family. I mean, I was reading, someone tweeted something today about guess how much or how much should you spend on meals for, for your day, for your family of four. And it was like $10, $20, $30. I don't know where they're shopping, but that's not the numbers I'm seeing. I mean, a carton of eggs is like six, seven bucks, eight bucks, whatever it is. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm sure it can be done. You can eat like a farm animal, you know, you can buy a 20 pound bag of rice and whatever and figure it out. But, but the point is that I'm making is consumers are not spending money on luxury items. You they can't afford them. They're not buying TVs. They're not buying, you know, computers, this, this, and that, um, because everything else is just so expensive. It's so expensive to live right now. So that's, that's what's going on here. That's where the sentiment of the markets are. It should is still expensive. And then, you know, top it off, you have all the bank execs saying that we're, we're not through the woods that you're going to see more banks fail. That's why the bigger banks now, the JP Morgans, the city banks, the Wells Fargo's, the hopefully safe banks are, are running today. That's why they're up as much as they are. So that's kind of, I know I went off on a little bit of a tangent there to try to make a point of, of kind of why we're down today, the sentiment in the markets, where they are based off of retail sales. So... That's it for the numbers this week, right? It is Friday, Friday the 14th. Everything's in for the day. All the Fed speakers are done. They were done at 10 o'clock this morning, a couple hours ago. But we are cleared for the weekend till next week where housing starts on Tuesday. You know, another Fed speaker on Wednesday in the evening must be some kind of event. You need to get your jobless claims, existing home sales on Thursday. U.S. leading economic indicators, which is a big one. That's something that the Fed uses. And then PMI, manufacturing PMI, uh, the S&P flash, right, on Friday. And then we're looking at, you know, the following week. I guess we won't get too much into job openings, ISM, unemployment, things like that to kind of round out the month. So that's pretty much it to set you up for the weekend. Uh, news wise, everything else, I'm, I'm telling you nothing going on. Uh, crypto derivatives volume rose in March for third straight month. I mean, we're at a 12 month high if I, as I posted in discord a whole bunch, uh, just a quiet day. I mean, just looking over like the crypto news websites, uh, not much going on. Just talking about the, the recent price movements, Bitcoin price target sees 33 K next. I think it's 32 K um next and i'll show you why when we get to the charts but that's pretty much it news wise so let's uh, get into some sentiment items let's take a look at you know setting you up for the weekend and a lot of you guys work regular jobs and trade after hours trade weekends so let's look at some of that stuff and, and look for some potential wins and for transparency i will show this that i walk the walk i don't just talk the talk there's many influencers 
influencers out there who won't show you their PL year to date, right? Who won't show you their win rate, who won't um, basically prove that they're actually a good trader, right? So today I did post, and this is not bragging, I'm posting transparency to let you know that I, I walk the walk. Uh, my cumulative PNL uh, year to date, 381K uh, win rate, about 80%. I actually trade my strategies. I said, not just pretend I know what I'm talking about and use TA words to sound smart and trade with sponsor money. Like some people do. I won't name any names. That's what I'm to kind of say, know that there are other traders out there who are transparent and that's awesome. Those are the people you should follow. Uh, not the people who just say fancy TA words and, and cause that anybody can do that. Anyone can look, can learn the jargon and, and, and do that. Right. Uh, and I just kind of threw an example like crypto face. He's, he's a, he's a big one. He does the, uh, he's involved with the market cipher team, right? He's uh, part of the team and big trader. I mean, he trades one million, two million dollar, you know, leveraged plays. Uh, and I mean, his daily P and L's sometimes are what my year to date P and L is. So I just kind of want to throw it out there. There are other guys out there who are transparent showing that they walk the walk, right? I, I can think of some pretty big influencers and again, I'm not going to name names who don't do that, right? Who are charging subscription fees for their discords or, um, pretending like they're trading on certain gambling sites when it's not their money, it's the gambling sites money, just things like that. But anyways, enough on that. Let's take a look at the charts. So let's take a look at Papa Bitcoin, right? So <clears throat> we are still in this volume range, which is this. Again, I'm colorblind guys. So this looks blue to me. So I'm going to call this little channel here blue, but let's go to the daily time frame so you can get a better picture. So this goes back to, you know, May to June. So a couple months back in 2022, right? So this was a year ago, just about exactly. And this was the Terra Luna collapse here, this big fallout. This was just a market downturn, Terra Luna collapse. Then you get down here to the FTX stuff and then just kind of this rebuilding right so you look for previous i mean we can even take this back to here right because you have all this over here too so you got your kind of middle value area in the the, the poc point of control value area low value area high just kind of roughly um showing you here so we are currently underneath the poc so i called for a retest on the poc we got it uh, we lost it, I should say. Um, we came down, cracked down below it, kind of fighting back for it now, pumping up a little bit. But we're pro we might trade inside of this zone for a little while, kind of like we did here, right? I mean, this was, let's just go to weekly. I think it was like four weeks, right? Yeah, about four weeks, right? One, two, three, four, three and a half, we'll call it weeks. You know, we've, been here really just for this one week kind of where we were over here you know you have some wicks down in here but didn't really stay there for too long ever except for this terra luna collapse so it could go both ways uh but i'm still looking at that 32k right i'm, I'm looking at that kind of right here ish just top of this channel mind you as your next level of resistance which is the value area high in the current range that we're in Right. So that's what I'll be looking at is your next big resistance is 32K. And then we're probably, oops, probably looking at like 35, 36K as the next one. We'll have to redraw the value area when we get there. It's somewhere around here, right? As the next level. And then it's, I mean, it's looking good. Don't get me wrong. Bullish overall, pending nothing crazy happens, pending no, like I know I've been saying, anything can happen. You know, we could have a black swan event. We could have um, some crazy political thing. Ha I mean, there's lots of shit that can happen, right? Uh, with crypto crackdowns in the US. I mean, who knows? But things are looking good. Things are looking bullish. This is the main channel that I'm watching. The main levels that I'm watching is the POC at about 30,373-ish. Uh, your value area low at 28. And then the high at 32, which, which we're going to get to just a matter of when it's how much do we chop sideways 
you know we're into the weekend now just about a couple out few hours left until the markets start closing up for the weekend and we get into kind of lower liquidity but those are the main levels main tradable channel now this is the weekly chart so if we get back to like the four hour you can see a little bit more tradable going on and you can see the major breakout I have here down to about 30,000 and we hit it. We hit 30,000. We bounced right. I can't move this. There we go. Uh, right. We bounced right off of about 30,000. Yeah, exactly. 29.99 on the nose today. So if we take a look at book map, you know, there's just a big sell wall. You know, 30,000 here. I mean, it's just huge right above my head, right? We just bounced off. We licked into it, bounced off it. Those are all buy orders, right? Those are all buy orders. You, you hit them, you trigger them, you get a bounce up off of those. That's how these charts work. That's how price action works, right? It's just orders being filled. So that we want to sweep the order book. It's just a matter of bouncing around between them. Lots of other factors. I'm simplify, simplifying it, right? But that's where we're at as far as Bitcoin, as far as the tradable channel goes. Um, we have broken outside of this tradable channel. So if you look at the seven minute chart, right, this is where we were since Wednesday, just a couple days ago. You know, we had that kind of weird up, weird down, and then we kind of just chopped up inside this channel. These channels typically, I'm not showing you the right thing. Fuck. Hate when I do that. But we were chopping upside this channel for the last, you know, again, since Wednesday. These things typically break to the downside and we did, right? This is what I've posted. This is what I was talking about. And then we're typically when you're flagging out like this, you break down again. However, you got to look at other indicators. You can't just go off of patterns, right? And other indicators like book map, like I just showed you said pretty big buy wall at 30 K. We're probably gonna get a bounce off of it. And we did. So some of that got cleared out. So now if we come down again, it's going to be less strong in theory you know but that's where we're at that's what i'm looking at we've kind of broken structure so just waiting for some new structure to form but in the larger structure in this tradable channel that we're kind of in we've been really just hugging this point of control right which is the middle of the value area this is the current value area the high the low point of control we kind of just been right in the middle of it chopping sideways a little bit so we'll have to watch that so just to round out bitcoin again you know the key levels all right 28 30 32 broke outside of this pattern went for new patterns or flags to form find our new trend lines or do we come back up and hop right back into the channel so we're going to continue to watch this you draw this stuff on your own charts follow along use me for confluence use other influencers for confluence other ta chart guys and um just go with your gut man go with your gut uh, but right now, just hugging the POC, and we have been since Monday. So one whole week of essentially just hugging this middle trend line here. It's right, right in the middle, this dotted line, you know, little ups, little downs, not much, but kind of a slow week. I mean, you know, we had that big pump up on Monday, and then Monday evening, since Monday evening, just kind of a sideways chop a little bit. So just watching and waiting to see what happens after this most recent breakout. Uh, taking a look at the DXY, which if you don't know what the DXY is, it is the dollar index. The United States dollar index when compared to other currencies. Typically speaking, um, you know, so when the dollar rises, assets typically go the opposite way. So when the dollar dumps, assets go up, right? Typically speaking, there's you know, lots of other factors, but... That's why we look at the DXY. So the DXY is pumping today about 0.66%. Uh, as a result, most other assets, all other assets, S&P, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, Bitcoin is dumping a little bit. So we are, again, kind of that April, uh, this is seven minute chart. So let's go to the daily. You can see here, we are getting a bit of a double bottom we are kind of pumping up off of it. I mean, that is almost to the T. It is to the T, a double bottom. So do we do one of these? Do we get the sh debtor shoulder to come up? I guess this is daily, so it'll take a while to get there. Uh, and as again, as the dollar pumps, other assets typically go down, though Bitcoin hasn't really cared as much uh, as traditional assets 
have. But that's really what I see there. Um, again, it's not as high as we were back in October, for example, when we were just on a skyrocket ship up. You know, we have come down a little bit. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it on the dollar. Just looking for this double bottom here to kind of watch and see what happens. Potential for some more downside on the traditional stocks, especially as, you know, recession looms and all the bank, big bank execs are talking about more bank collapses and everything else. We'll have to kind of pay attention and watch this. It's a weird one too right now because all the foreign um, governments talking about, you know, getting off of reliance on the U.S. dollar. I mean, I say good luck, right? I mean, for, my gut feeling tells me to tell those countries good luck in your endeavors, right? Uh, some more than others need that luck, uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens there. So you guys know I've been charting total two, which is total market cap of all crypto minus Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is your alt, your alts essentially, right? So you can see here, we've been in a descending wedge pattern, which almost always break up to the upside. Um, I mean, if it didn't, crypto would never go up, <laughs> but typically these patterns like this, you get your measured move. I'm just going like this, right? Just to the back, to the top, taking it to the breakout spot. And I've been charting this since it was way back in over here. You know what I mean? But we got the breakout, so we move it here. I mean, you're looking at, you know, a $1 trillion increase in crypto minus Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this would spell alt season. So this is why I'm bullish on alts, bullish on alt season, start charting those, especially as we start to see some confluence, right? You get your confluence. Let me get off logarithmic by looking at Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance is falling, right? We're down 1% on the new day on this daily candle. And so that's confluence to the total two market cap. So alts are outperforming Bitcoin today. Is that's what they're telling me. So you can see most alts are still up uh, where Bitcoin is down. But Bitcoin's making up a little bit. It looks like it actually currently is. So we'll have to kind of watch that, see how it plays out. Kind of a boring range that we're in. Again, tradable range, don't get me wrong. Um, not so much at this PLC, but we'll have, to, we'll have to continue to watch it. We'll keep watching Discord. But alts wise, again, you know, well, it'll have to be, we have to depend on Bitcoin here because Bitcoin is still not moving much today, right? I mean, look how flat that is. I mean, this is really, I mean, from the bottom, boom, to the top. 5%. So that's, that's, that's a decently tradable range, but we broke out to the downside of it. I mean, that this was the pattern that I showed you uh, here, right? Boom. And then we broke out to the downside. So it's got to watch and wait and see where it falls. But I think, I think you guys should hopefully have a little bit better understanding where the markets are uh, today. I mean, we got the 30 minute green dot printing right now. Money flow starting to bleed out a little bit. Stokes and RSI is coming down, but pointed up. So maybe a boring weekend, but charge your Bitcoin, charge your altcoins. And to, here, this is what I do, right? I chart my Bitcoin. I figure out which way it's going, right? I knew Bitcoin was going to go down with a certain degree of confidence, right? And it did. Um, then I just flip through the altcoins. Look for patterns, find one, find a shoulder head and shoulders, find a bear flag, something like that to hop in and short in this case, right? Cause Bitcoin I knew was going to go down, <coughs> ultra can go down harder that it's, it's, I know I'm oversimplifying it. Yes. You got to find confluence. You, you got to look at multiple indicators, things like that. You got to look at book maps. So you know where to take your, your profit at like this most recent one at that 30 K level. Cause we knew we were gonna get a bump off of it. Cause there was a giant cell wall there. I have a whole TA series on it. It'll be linked at the end of this video. Um, I think that's going to do it for me today, guys. I don't want to ramble on, ramble on as always. If you ever want anything charted, or you ever want to talk, uh, DM me on Twitter at real Bendel, hop in discord. I'm there. So is donkey. So is the rest of our guys, right? We're always here for you, but I think. I like to just kind of get these midday updates short and sweet, get them out there, let you know what I'm seeing, show you that I'm active and we're all talking in discord all day. Uh, kind of, uh, get you set up. I appreciate you guys. Donkey should be live or 
a video depending on which one later on this evening and um if something happens over the weekend we'll bring it to you appreciate you guys i'm out they said that i couldn't do it so i went and did it w's only you know i've been winning top of the world the globe is spinning spinning if you know you know i've been on a what mission mission go okay let's get it they said that i couldn't do it so i went and did it w's only you know i've been winning top of the world the globe is spinning spinning if you know you know i've been on a what mission mission go okay let's get it